What's up, guys? Ghost here. Bring another video. I'm sounding like, okay. Restart. <sighs> What's up, guys? Ghost here. Bring another video. Today, we have the Alien Grip tutorial. You guys have been asking me on Twitter to do it. Nice voice crack. I'll have a lot of them. Um. So, here it is. Um. Real quick, I'm gonna start the story. I record this once. I recorded this once already, and it was too, uh, it was too, um, too long. It took a while to explain some stuff. So I'm just going to start off the story. I was three years old, and I picked up a PlayStation 2 controller like this. So there was no control freak. Picked it up like that. And back then, of course, I was little, so I don't, I wasn't going, like, I wasn't going hardcore Call of Duty. Holy crap, we got to fight. Let's go, let's go. I was just, you know, casually playing Ghost Recon. <laughs> In uh, 2003 or whatever. So, um, it, you can do it like this, but I strongly advise you not to because it hurts and it's hard. By the way, I never noticed that these were female or this was a female target. This game's sexist because all these are guys. Um, anyway, so, playing that, uh, transitioned to uh, any first person shooter uh, besides. Um, like, Racing games, you know, I would just, I mean, it's easy. You just drive and turn and crap. And uh, GTA, you know, I can play like this or normal. It's not a big deal. Um, I can play, I can play Call on Call of Duty, but my shot is terrible. Like, I, I'm bad. There's no point because I suck so bad, flaw, and, and uh, normal. Like, it's really hard for me to uh, play like this. Just because just I've been so used to the alien grip. So then um, I transitioned to Xbox 360. I was playing Battlefield. Um, Battlefield 3. I feel like being really good at Battlefield helped me be really good at Call of Duty. And, I mean, Halo players say the same thing where they say that being good at Halo helped them be better at Call of Duty. And I think it's a true statement. Um, especially in sniping, you had to be perfect accuracy for battlefield sniping because the bullet drop. So Xbox 360, same thing as an Xbox One controller. I spray painted in this one. Um, pretty much, it's the same concept. I keep hitting this stupid controller. Um, right here on your hand is where the left stick goes. And uh, your right, left thumb goes right here. That's where you shoot and uh, aim. Aim down sights, aim. And then everything else just rests in the back. Um, and then your right hand, shoot, RB, AXYB, you know, that. And then if you need to use D-pad, bam, 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 whatever. Easy. So, uh, played Black Ops 2 on 360. Got really good. Got master rank. Didn't play Ghost. Didn't play Advanced Warfare. Didn't have an Xbox One for Ghost. And Advanced Warfare, there's this stupid girl that I liked. And I'm an idiot for it. I know. So I missed out two years. And I was really good at Ghosts on 360 when I played. Um, so then Black Ops 3 comes out. I decided to return to gaming. I wish I never left. And uh, I get really good at Black Ops 3 playing like this, you know, uh, on Xbox. I, I, I can confidently say that my Xbox team was probably the best Xbox team for Black Ops 3 ever. We were really good. And... Uh, when, when one of our teammates used the Vesper, and because he was just bad after that, but me, Sleepy, and Ever uh, as a trio were really good. Ever's underage. I wish he could play because he's really talented, but he's still underage, so it doesn't matter. So then, at the end of Black Ops Three, uh, whoops, the end of Black Ops Three, uh, our teammate buys me a PS4 and Sleepy a PS4, and uh, we go into Infinite Warfare. Ended up dropping him. But, I mean, that was awesome for him to do that. He really... If if I can make something, it's all thanks to him. Make something out of this. So, this is an issue. Because, obviously, these aren't like Xbox. Xbox is easier. Because um, this is right here. It's not up here. So, you can do it like this. I think I said that earlier. And it just hurts so bad. And it's really hard to be good like this. Like, I'm missing a lot of shots. Um, you can do it, though. Or, I mean, if you move it over more, you can do it. 
but it's just it's not worth it. And I was so bad. I'm like, dang, I'm gonna have to quit. And then Sleepy's like, get a control freak, and I was like, oh yeah. So I got a long control freak. This is the Infinite Warfare one. I lost one of my other ones at COD Champs. So if you have it and I get famous, you're welcome. Um, uh, for Infinite Warfare COD Champs. So uh, put it on. It's pretty simple. Literally the same thing. So you rest it. God, I gotta stop doing that. Rest it right here. Goes right there, the left stick. Same same concept. You know, so easy. Um So it's just it's just better, because then you have laser focus, laser accuracy. You know how we're rocking. So um I don't know how it's going to be for you guys. If you want to learn it or not, I'm probably the only person that will ever play like this until maybe, like, if I, if, when I make it pro, obviously, whoever comes after me will probably start using it just because of me, but, uh, yeah, so it's pretty easy. Um, you just, I just, you gotta, you got it's, you gotta get used to it. You guys, it's going to be hard at first, but I'm telling you. If you don't want to learn claw and you'd rather learn this, uh, this way, alien grip, you, it's, it's probably beneficial. I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. So that's it for that. Um, real quick, if you want the spectrum camo, I have the tutorial on my channel. Then I have the fade. To, uh, if you guys want me to do a fade tutorial, you can comment. And then this is, whoops, this is the red baron camo that I made. And Team Summer, sorry, Team Summertime Hitches Team. I did the hoodie design on a gun, and I really like this one actually. But uh, yeah, so if you want tutorials for those, just comment in the comment section. Let me know. Um, I'll have to see if the mic is too loud. Also, because I on my previous video I wasn't speaking up loud enough. Also, stop hating on me for the just because I drop a hundred on shipment. It's not. I know it's not a big deal, but it's one of my series to get a hundred bombs. And also, I was just trying to show off the the uh, cam the camera or the controller cam. Um, that's pretty much it for everything. Also, I have a GoFundMe that I started. I really want to. A lot of people that liked my tweet. I'll put all this in the description. My tweet. That got like 200,000 views in two days. Um, my phone's been blowing up. It won't stop. It's kind of dying down now. Um, everything's in the description, but go check that out. Retweet it if you haven't yet. I really appreciate the support. Uh, subscribe so I can have a reason to upload. I wasn't uploading because I had nobody to upload to. I will be doing a ranked play controller cam. I'll probably just do everything controller cam these days because people like it. And... Um, also, my GoFundMe, uh, this is the last thing. My GoFundMe, uh, I'll put that in the description. Please share it. I need to start. Uh, I work at Pizza Hut. I don't make enough money to buy a PC right now. I, I uh, spent a lot of money on my setup. I just need a PC because it takes me forever to render these videos. Like It's so annoying. But uh, also, if I get a PC, I would be able to stream controller cam be pretty cool. I know a lot of people want me to want us want me to stream that. So, yeah, just share the GoFundMe link with anybody that you know might be generous enough to help me out. But anyway, that's going to do it. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention this. Um if you guys if I had the uh to help out some like people maybe you lost your arm, one of your arms, I know it's completely random, but I mean, maybe you're one-handed and you want to, you wish you could play video games. If you do this, it's going to, this would probably be really hard to get used to. But if you put the uh, controller between your leg, between your knees, or just actually grab it. So if you have one arm, if you have, if you lost your right arm, you would do it like me and uh, just rest it on top of that. And you can play one-handed. You just have to get, you'd have to get used to it. It's really hard. I'm not very good at it, but it's possible. So you can do this. It's it's really not that hard once you get used to it. Um, so you, if you want to play, 
if you're one-handed and you want to play, you can play like this. Literally the same thing. You just move over a little bit more so you can act, you can like, you know, jump shot if you, if you, if you, if you can, if you get good enough. Um, also, if you lost your left hand, you can do the same thing. Um, this is probably so weird, but um, you can flip. You can fl you can either get a custom controller that has these over here, and you can literally do the same thing. So if you uh, if you guys have a, dis a disability, just practice that. I think it's the best thing you could do if you lost one of your arms. Anyway, that's it. So. The GoFundMe is in the description. I'd appreciate it if you guys help me out. Um, I might post the rank play gameplay today. I have no idea. Oh, also, the reason I'm posting rank play because I don't have a team to scrim with. I don't have money to fly out to events, which sucks. But um, hopefully I can start making money from doing streaming and YouTube, all that. So GoFundMe is in, in the description or the comments. I have no idea. Um, that's about it, though, guys. So... Be on the lookout for my rank play video and go retweet my tweet.